What is going on everybody? This is Sergio G, PhD, and I come back to you with part three of my five part mini series on my unboxing. I've picked up a number of hats and this is just another example of another cool little hat that I picked up. I have, uh, after this particular unboxing, I have two more. I might have some more hats coming along the way. I'm really not sure. That's why I'm trying to get through all these unboxings and figure out what I have left coming because you don't want to lose track of any of your hats that you are expecting to come. So we are going to get the old famous box cutter out and we are going to get going. By the way, by the time you see this video, it will probably be February or March. So always consider becoming a member of the channel and you can see all these videos that I publish right away when I upload them. If you are a member of the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. It helps support little YouTubers like me. So without further ado, guys, let's get on to the boxing. Let's see what hat's in here. I am not doing very good on naming the collections because I honestly don't think most of these hats have names. I mean, you got the Culpa Collection hat, which I took a look at. You have the Marvel Culpa Collection hat. Yeah, other than that, um, the NFL was just called the Local Collection uh the d-backs hat i'm not really sure what that one was called so not doing a ton of good but uh you know i'm doing my best so let's go guys we got another unboxing and i can't wait to show you guys and check it out for myself so let's go all right here we go guys we got a box we got the famous box cutter here with the doll blade let's check it out I think it, this one's very light. They sent a big box for a light one. Uh, there's pr maybe two in here. I'm not really sure why they would send it in this big of a box. I can tell you as a reseller, this box is perfect for me. Yeah. They, they need to learn how to ship because there's only one hat in that big ass box. One hat, but it's a good one. This one, uh, be honest guys, I did not buy this one for myself. This one I'm sending to a friend uh for christmas so that's why i got it but i had to pick it up and i still might pick it up for myself because i actually like it he is a fan of this team so i did try to get him a uh, team or a hat that he would wear he doesn't know it's coming because that's just how i do it i just randomly buy things and sometimes i'll send them to people we got bam we got the new york yankees um this one i don't know if it has a name it just says new york yankees company navy seven and a half it says it's navy. It's a dark navy. It's got a yellow. It almost looks like a Cobra Kai Collection 2.0, but I don't think that's what it's called. You got the Yankee lettering in red right there. Looks really good. You got the 2008 All-Star Game patch there on the side. Freaking love the colors on this one. It is nice. It is subtle. It's not too outlandish. It's got a yellow button gray uv black sweatband seven and a half oh look at this guys this one has a tag on the inside it says uh 22 to 12. what is that supposed to tell me i don't know this one is made in uh bangladesh it is polyester it is cooperstown collection seven and a half let's see how it fits actually fits okay for a seven and a half a little tight for me but it's not for me so it doesn't matter he is a seven and a half so freaking not too bad it's got some uh, little dust on it but uh i will package this one up and send it in a real box or a box that's a little bit more proper uh and then i will keep the other box so anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video consider becoming a member of the channel so you can see all these videos right when I post them. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit your notification, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Sergio G, PhD, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.